Hello, this is a specimen of an enlarged testis. This has been bivalved um, or bisected longitudinally and opened. So we're looking at the cut surface. Just to orientate you, I'm going to turn it around and we can see here uh, that's the tunica vaginalis and over here this is the epididymis and of course this is the spermatic cord. Let's look at the cut surface of the testis and uh, what we can see uh, entirely replacing the testicular parenchyma is a fleshy, tan, brownish, lobulated tumor mass. Um, there are areas over here that are darker and these indicate the presence of hemorrhage. And if we look over here at this pale, quite well-defined geographic area, this indicates necrosis. So this is likely to be a malignant tumor. And in the testis, when we're thinking about tumors, uh, we always uh, think about germ cell tumors as a big category versus uh, lymphoma as another category. And uh, the other possible ca category is sex cord stromal tumors, which are a little bit less common. Now, for germ cell tumors, we always think of seminomatous versus non-seminomatous because the seminomatous tumors or the seminomas are much more sensitive to treatment, for example, by uh, radiotherapy. This is a classical appearance of a testicular seminoma. It's usually very solid, very fleshy, and sometimes it is actually known as the potato tumor because it does resemble a potato. Now let's contrast this with a different testicular pathology. On the right, we also have an example of a bisected testis. This is the epididymis. This is the testis itself, and this is the spermatic cord. Now, um, in this specimen, uh, the immediate abnormality is obviously seen in the epididymis. Now, what's happening is that it is expanded and it's got this discoloration, almost a cheesy appearance, grossly, with some little small holes here or almost like cavities. Things appear to have fallen out from here. This is a classical appearance of caseous necrosis, if you recall, in other organs, and this is associated with uh, tuberculosis. So this is an example of tuberculosis of the testis, and interestingly, um, in TB of the testis, it often likes to involve the epididymis. If you look at the testicular parenchyma in this case, uh, it really appears grossly normal. So sometimes uh, the TB infection can spread from the epididymis to the testis, but in this case, the testis is still as yet uninvolved. So this is an example of TB involving the epididymis as contrasted with a primary germ cell testicular tumor, which causes a pretty much uh, homogeneous expansion of the testis by this lobulated, fleshy, tan, brown, tumor mass and in this case the epididymis here still appears grossly normal.